fucking idiot? Hey, does LeBron, does LeBron James respond to fucking, um, I don't know, pick a person who's like playing in D3 college basketball who says that he could beat LeBron James in one-on-one. -on -one. In, in MMA, YouTube, that is the equivalent of that fucking idiot talking shit to or about me. Anyway, um, he's just compared himself to LeBron fucking James. The ego and arrogance on this guy. Just for today, we've got a new intro, especially for you, Jesse. Jesse on fire, clipping and liar. Got a small penis, his ego's on fire. Kratom junkie Joe Rogan, wannabe loves Joe Man. That's some loyalty. He's all about the views, clickbait and clues. But deep down inside, he's got self-esteem blues. Addicted to Kratom, can't get enough. But Jesse, my man, that ain't so tough. to Kratom, but you'll never be Joe Rogan, no matter what you become. Okay, I was done with the Jesse on Fire videos because he said, 10K, get to 10K and I'll respond. And I thought, you know what? You're right, Jesse. I'm going to focus on MMA and I'm going to make it to 10K and then we'll go from there. However, Jesse is a little coward and he decided to respond behind a paywall to which he said, oh, it's okay, I'll respond because it's behind a fucking paywall. You absolute sleazy little coward. Anyway, we're going to have a look at this guy who compares himself to LeBron fucking James of MMA YouTube. I do apologize about the quality of the video because it was sent to me by someone who recorded it. They also fast forwarded it. Um, I'm just going to keep it that way because it saves you listening to Jesse on fire for that long. Back to known. Jesse, see those two YouTubers uh, talking shit? I don't give a fuck about anybody that has one one hundredth of my subs, you know? So it, it, two YouTubers, he's talking to about me, myself and Ronan MMA. Um, the, the comments seem to be directed at me though, I think. Um, yeah, he gets quite personal in fact, Jesse does. He's rattled! For someone who doesn't give a flying fuck, and he said he wouldn't respond, he does respond behind a paywall, and he, he seems quite rattled. So that could be your message to any little cockbags who want to talk shit, okay? I have 100 times your subs. Your dick is non-existent. My dick... I mean... I don't, I don't know what kind of flex that is. I have more subs than you. Well, you've been going longer than me, so yeah, you should have more subs than me, man. You should have more subs than me. Could knock your mom out if I slapped her in the face with it. You fucking begging for my attention, <laughs> ugly ass little pussy. So there you go, I just responded, you guys. I just responded. Oh, he called me ugly. Like, like I give a fuck if a dude thinks I'm ugly. Like, <laughs> who gives a flying fuck if a dude thinks you're ugly? Dickhead. To, uh, to those guys talking shit. That was my, that's my response, okay? Wait until you have over, you know, like if I can literally just drop a, I have 100 times your subs on you, like, you know, I know you're hoping that I'm going to say your name. You're hoping that I'm going to. I, I don't get why he's flexing his subs. Like, like, like anyone cares. Like I've just started YouTube about a couple of months ago. So, you know, it is what it is. I, unfortunately, I haven't got the subs yet. Point people in the direction of your channel. Candidly, I don't even know what channel it is. Someone sent me like a screen. That's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Absolute fucking liar, Jesse on fire. Absolute fucking liar. And you know why? Because he fucking commented on the fucking video. He commented on the video. I don't know why it is. This, this, this live was a couple of days ago. And it was after he commented on the video. So he's full of shit. I know he's seen the video. I know he Googles himself. I know he fucking YouTubes himself to see what's out there about him. The fucking liar. Absolute bullshit. Called fuck off, Jesse. Fuck off. That that's full on bullshit. Yeah, I've seen it. Grab recording of some ass clown. I was like, you think I'm gonna respond to this fucking idiot? Hey, does LeBron? You did. You did respond. You dropped a comment on the video responding. Tell me, get to 10k subscribers. So you did respond, and you're responding now. After you responded on the comment, you've decided to now go on a 20 minute rant on two videos. Uh, there's another live that you did where you, you spoke about me. Started calling me fat and everything. Um, try and fat shame me, fucking hell! Like my, one of my favourite fighters is Big Country Roy Nelson. So you know what? He fucking banged better than you, fucking Jesse dickhead. Fucking idiot! Hey, does LeBron does LeBron James respond to fucking um, I don't know? Pick a person who's like playing in D three college basketball who says that he could beat LeBron James in one on one. In in MMA YouTube, that is the equivalent of that fucking idiot talking shit to or about me. Anyway, um. He's just compared himself to LeBron fucking James. The ego and arrogance on this guy. 
Who the fuck does that? He's, he's nowhere near LeBron James of YouTube. MMA YouTube. Fucking hell. And if anyone's got the, the crown to that title, it's going to be MMA fucking guru, not fucking Jesse on fire. Dickhead. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, I shouldn't flex, flex, flex subs on a dude who, who makes fucking content shit. So even his fans, people in his live start going at him a little bit, calling him out. Like, right, come on, Jesse, don't flex subs like that, man. It's not a good look, is it? It's like flexing subs. And anyone could do it. They, like, stuff like that. There's always someone better. There's always someone bigger. There's always someone who's been around longer putting in the craft. It's like Mr. Beast going, well, Jesse on fire. I've got more subs than you. It, it makes no sense. Like, it, fair play to Jesse. He's grinded. He's been on YouTube. He's consistent. He, he's reliable. And he's put in time and effort. And he's got he's got some subscribers. Well done to Jesse. Mostly middle, middle-aged women by the looks of the comments on my videos. Not quite the, the MMA audience. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Thing on me trying to get me to respond. I would flex my dick on him. I would flex my money on him. I would flex my subs on him. I would flex literally anything because he's talking shit. My point is... I mean, I don't know why he wants to compare dicks. Like, is this a John Jones thing? Like, is he is he in the same in the same club as John Jones? Because it's strange. Like, I, if, it's like a 10-year-old behavior, isn't it? When you're like in high school and you're like, I've got a bigger dick than you. Like, fucking hell. Who says that? Anyway, it's not the size of the fucking... <laughs> it's the ocean of the motion, as they say. Not on the level where I'm going to respond to them directly because it would only help them. He can fuck himself. He can suck his own dick because that's the only person that's ever going to touch it. Uh I'm married. I'm married. All right, yeah. But if you want to think that, Jesse, that, that's fine. Fair enough. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is going in members only anyway, so who cares? Uh See? Sit right there. He, he, he starts giving me loads of shit and he's a coward, a lot of worm. And he says, it's going in a members-only section behind a paywall, so who gives a fuck? Thinking that it'll never get back to me. Boy, it's done, it, it, people, loads of people, in fact, came into my live telling me that he was talking shit about me. And that shows you the loyalty that his fan base have, because I think... I, I don't want people to unsubscribe to Jesse on Fire. That is not the... He's an entertaining guy. He's funny to... He's unintentionally funny, and he makes... He, he makes good entertainment he's funny to watch in the sense that like he's full of shit uh, the issues i have is that he fucking lies he doesn't do his research on topics um he misses he misses the bag like a, a, a million times over with with not doing his research and he, he's he's not factual and that that is a problem that is a problem but he is entertaining he's funny to watch he's uh he comes out with some weird shit um oh you know it is what it is, dude. Listen, this is the way of the world, okay? If a dude challenges a dude, like, okay, let's do the rewind on that. So let's. This analogy is weird. I, I don't, I don't know where he's co coming from with this. Say that you have a girlfriend, and your girlfriend is like, you know what? I've fallen for another guy. You're like, what? She's like, I'm leaving you for another guy. You're like, what? Well, what does he have that I don't have? Let me tell you what you are not. So, <laughs> I mean, I think he's a married man with a family. I don't know why he's starting to try and compare himself, like as if uh, <laughs> in this scenario. First of all, he says, I I'm I'm lonely and I suck my own dick. But now, now he's saying, like, any woman that I go with or my wife or whatever is going to just fall out of love with me and fucking jump on Jesse on fire because he's bigger, stronger, got the bigger dick and more money. I mean, th this guy is unbelievably shallow. And this is why his fan base is probably turning on, turning on him a little bit and isn't happy with some of the things that he says. Because he doesn't give back to his community. He doesn't give back to his community. He's just me, 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 me. I go to UFC. I know all the, the stars. It's just all about the Jesse show. And yeah, that, that's kind of why I think there's this um, there's this narrative around Jesse on fire at the moment and why people feel so strongly towards the guy. And I've jumped on that narrative because I, I, I've come in to disrupt and... The, there's these people who have been established for so long and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're good at what they do. They've just been established for a long time. So I'm coming in to disrupt and part of that, I'm calling out the guys that I think need calling out. And then the second thing is I want to give back to a community. I want to build a community. There is a natural community. I want to do community events. Like why are these fuckers not putting on events for the community? Like they're making that much money. I, Every year they could do a fucking a, a community event, 
get the community together, throw a big, massive fucking party. They don't give a fuck about the community members, that's for sure. I'm going to fucking change this shit. It needs to happen. We're building a community. If you want to join a real MMA community, have some fun, entertainment, talk about MMA, and once or twice a year, maybe we'll have a meetup. We'll, I'll host a meetup. We'll uh, fly people out to the UK. Maybe even have a meetup in Vegas at a UFC event. That is the shit we're going to do. Not this kind of shit that he's doing. This I, I'm going to take my wife and I'm going to have a good time. Fuck you guys. He doesn't even do uh, watch-alongs with his fans. He's never done one. As far as I know, he's never done one. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to change this game. We're going to change it. It needs to change. It needs to be more about community. We need to put the community first. And Jesse on fire doesn't. He just ignores most of his fans. And he just, uh, yeah, he's, he's ignorant. Hoping that she says, okay? Number one. Anyway, really analogy. Not want him Sorry, tangent, much, much, rant. Much, much, much more money than you. But let's say hypothetically he does have a lot more money than you. You really don't want him to be stronger, bigger, and tougher than you. And let's say he has both those things. He's bigger, stronger, tougher, and also has lots of money. You want to be able to at least fall back on, well, I'm trained, you know? So, like. I mean, he's just making assumptions that he has more money than me. He's making assumptions. Well, he probably is bigger and stronger he looks like he takes steroids and he takes a lot of kratom guys so he's definitely he's definitely juiced up on the kratom yeah he probably he, he works out more than me but is he trained is he is he more trained than me again a, a fact that he doesn't know he doesn't know that i have fought mma he doesn't know that i do train bjj he doesn't know that i do train mma so he can carry on being ignorant and it's going to land, land him in a, a lot of trouble because when I hit 10k, I'll call him out to a fight. I'll fight the guy. I do want fight him. If he won't fight me, I, I want at least a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu match with him, a grappling match with him and see see how we got on. I'm I'm willing to do it. Is he just talking shit? Because he, he set the gauntlet there. He, he's kind of thrown himself into the fire saying he's bigger, stronger. He's bigger, stronger and he's trained. So let, let's put it to the test, my man. I could whip his fucking ass. So like worst case scenario essentially would be if the guy she leaves you for is a retired Navy SEAL who hit big and is worth like $70 million. That's like the trifecta of fuck my life. The trifecta of fuck my life. You're so old as fuck. So, you know, and assuming that I'm untrained. You know what I mean? So he's beating you in every single category. He's beating you with money. He's beating you with toughness. He's beating you with strength and size. And he took your bitch. Worst possible scenario ever. You. I mean, so where, where's the I took your bitch from? He hasn't taken anything from me, but he, he thinks he can. But I can tell you right now, my wife would not touch this guy with a fucking barge pole. If someone comes to you and they're like, hey, fuck you, dude. And you're like, what? They're like, you heard me, dude. I said, fuck you. And you're like, I mean, listen, I was just over here buying my own business. And they're like, I know, but fuck you. And you're like, what are you trying to do with your life? I'm trying to be an MMA YouTuber. I'm like, oh, are you? Oh, you're trying to be an MMA YouTuber? You know, keep the dream alive. I mean, I wouldn't have talked about you or brought you up at all. You brought this on yourself. But since you, you know, already told me your life's aspirations is to be me, then... I haven't said that. At no point have I said that my life aspiration is to be Jesse on fire. My life aspiration is is to be an MMA YouTuber. I've never, ever said that. This channel was born in COVID with me and my friend who were just chilling, wanted to talk about MMA. We did some interviews with fighters and... Yeah, just, just out having fun with it. And then I restarted the channel a couple of months ago, started doing lives, didn't do lives before, started making content because it's just fun. I, I did it on the side. I do I did work and I just did it on the side for a bit of fun. And then I, I, people started coming in. I started seeing the other MMA YouTubers and it kind of take, took, took on its own fucking life from there. So I didn't know where this guy <laughs> this guy thinks. He's that arrogant that I think I want, I want to be him. Yeah. And I guess my answer is, cry me a river, you fat, sloppy pussy. Anyway. <laughs> um, let's continue. So, uh, oh, wait, I already did that. Did that one. Um, good response. I said, thank you, sir. Uh, ever seen the black... So he tries to leave it there, but he can't. He can't. He still continues the rant. He still continues. <laughs> I have not. Okay. So, but listen, the other side of the coin is like, your girl left you and you're like, well, what does he have that I don't have? She's like, he's more sensitive than you. Okay, I try to talk to you about how you feel and you never open up. I talk to him about how he feels and he has spent an entire night crying. He doesn't, he's not all in the rat race after money, okay? <laughs> I, I don't know where he's going with this. I don't know where he's going with this. Do you know what he does? He's a painter. He's a painter. He paints his feelings and it touches me in a way that I really, 
don't know how to describe. It's like, he's so in touch with his feminine side. You're all, oh, good. Good, 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 good. This is great. This is excellent. Oh, I forgot about the other one. Uh, I forgot about the other category, which is, uh, you know. So is he saying that he's so feminine and in touch with his feminine side that he's, he's sensitive and he can relate to the female species? Is that, <laughs> is that what he's saying? That he's, he's so articulate with his emotions and in touch with his feelings? <laughs> okay. Yeah, fine. If he definitely has a much bigger dick than you and your wife is like, listen, he's much better at satisfying me sexually. That's a hard one. To be. That's that's actually your, that's like kind of a trump card to all of the other ones. You know, like it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, this one is the trump card, being in touch with your feminine side, having sensitive feelings. <laughs> More money, tougher. Uh, you know, you would definitely lose a fight, but you know, you're, you're on the other side of that and you're like taking that guy's girl and you're like, look, man, you just don't know. You didn't know what to do with her and daddy knew how to touch your girl. That kind of trumps every other thing. But anywho, um, I love it. He, he can't, he can't, he's, he's so rattled. I'm living rent free in the fucker's head. He's so fucking rattled. He can't stop talking about me. He just can't stop talking about me. It's crazy. He, he was like, I'm not going to respond. And he's gone so far. He's, he's responded quite a bit. And don't forget this is fast forwarded. Yeah, I know. I, I did an entire live stream about OJ dying today. Speaking of fuck that guy. You know what I mean? In all seriousness, though, if you talk to those dudes that are talking shit, tell them. So, see, someone tries to change the subject. Every time that the subject has changed, they talk. Someone brings up OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson gets like a second, <laughs> and then he goes straight back to me. Go well, me and Ronan. That if they do 20, 20 more videos each, and make sure that they hashtag Jesse on fire and all of them, and put me in the title, I'll respond. Twenty diss tracks is the number of videos it requires before I might respond. Maybe. I mean, he wants twenty videos. He's already responded. He's, <laughs> he's already responded. But I think he's talking about making a full video. A full video on it. I don't know how, how he'd make a full... Well, he would make a full video. It would just be him saying that he's better, stronger, more trained, capable, richer. I mean... Yeah. Uh, They're true. The, he, he, he is richer. He has got more subs. <laughs> he is trained, but don't mean that I'm not trained. No promises. But 20 is the minimum where I will consider for, you know, for these little guys, you know, for these real guys, they're trying so hard. Um, we definitely do not need a third, but I appreciate your, I appreciate the offer. You're not the first. I've had someone be at our house. And so, <laughs> I've had someone actually know this is a fucking truth. Okay. So you'll be glad to know this is the fourth and final video of Jesse's rant. So let's get into this one. Oh no, I want them to do it, dude. What do you think? I, like, listen, there are a couple people that are smarter than me that figured out the, uh, listen, I'll just tell you right now. No one in the MMA community knew the YouTube algorithm and executed on that better than Guru. Guru fucking deep dipped YouTube's algorithm like a fucking boss. He figured it out early. He let these guys all do their clips channels. And that's why, I mean, along with being incredibly talented, he fucked the world. You know what I mean? People making videos about you or clipping. You can tell right there. He's, he, he's got some deep jealousy and envy for like, look at the rage in his face. Look at the rage. I don't know why it's so dark, but look at that rage in his face. The jealous and envy for MMA Guru. Because he was he's a, he's a funny guy that people clipped and they, they like clipping him out of context. The you know he was doing lives and he, he says interesting, provocative, controversial stuff. So people clip that and make their own content and make their own channels from it. I guess Jesse's just not that interesting for that to happen. Um, this is vastly different from what people did to MMA Guru. This is kind of calling Jesse out for. He's absolute bullshit, not, oh, you're a funny guy, we're going to clip you and uh, make some content out of you. And that's it, and that's the end of the Jesse rant. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.